Hello friend, it's Mark out on the back 40. And in this video, I'm just gonna go over a couple of the wood stoves that I use in our deer blinds and why we use wood stoves in our deer blinds. So maybe we should talk a little bit more about why a wood stove in a deer blind. I, I covered this in the redneck blind review, but I'll go into a little bit more detail about it here. So um, yeah, I'm in West Michigan and it gets cold here. And so in November during hunting season, it'll, it'll be, I mean, it could be warm, but most of the time it's gonna be probably in the twenties and thirties as far as the temperature. And so when you get in these blinds in the morning or in the evenings, it doesn't matter when you get in them, um, they're cold. And when you turn those propane heaters on, propane has a lot of moisture in the gas. And so when you um, fire that up, you're in a cold environment. The windows are all freezing cold. Now all of a sudden you gush out a bunch of warm air that is moist. And so the windows fog almost instantly. And then it is a constant battle trying to keep those windows from fogging up if you keep that heater on. So what you have to do is open the window, at least one of them, to get the cool air in here and the drier air in here to start hopefully thawing out the windows. So it's just a constant battle. And if, you're, if you understand what I'm saying, I don't need to say anymore. You know what I'm talking about. So I wanted to solve that problem. The other thing I wanted to solve, number two, was my scent. And for years and years and years, I've hunted with scent lock suits and that kind of stuff, and that just doesn't work. At least for me, I know, I know all the stuff you're supposed to do, it doesn't work. So I decided I wanted to hunt in a box, a sealed box, basically. And so all my blinds are sealed really well. The windows are sealed. They got, like in these redneck blinds, they're sealed real well. So I was looking for a way to eliminate scent. So other than the box itself that I sit in, I thought, hey, a fire, in a wood stove like this will create negative pressure inside the blind because the fire is burning and it needs oxygen. So it's gonna suck air down into this hole down here, burn it up and send it up the chimney way up high. I thought, what a great idea. Cause now it's going to negatively pull the, it's gonna pull air in, which has my scent in it, send it through a fire and put it way up high. So I'm killing two birds with one stone with a wood stove. Actually three, I'll tell you the third in a second, but three. Number one, no more foggy windows. Never, it never fogs the windows. It's dry, awesome heat, it's awesome. Number two, my scent gets sucked up and goes away. And number three, there's just something primeval about wood fires. I just love having a wood fire. We have it in our house uh, and I love having the blinds. Every you know, 15, 20 minutes, it gives me something to do, open the door and put a piece of wood in there and close it. There's just something great about that. So that's kind of my whole spiel on wood stove. So I would suggest that you consider if those things frustrate you and any of that relates to what you uh, have when you're out in your blinds, Think about putting a wood stove in there. I think you'll love it. So this is the very first wood stove that I put in a deer blind. It was kind of an experiment. And I just want to show you the setup here real quick. All I did is I went to like Lowe's or Menards or something like that, Home Depot, and got some two inch pipe. It's not made for um, wood stoves. I don't even really know for sure what it's for. Um, I think maybe uh, dryer vents or something like that, but it's good enough for, for a deer blind. You know, it's single wall, the galvanized kind of burns off, but it's good enough, right? And then, so here's the wood stove, and I guess you, you gotta make it safe. So the setup is just, again, at Home Depot, you can get these pieces of steel, um, and I just put it on a little backer board like that. So I got a piece on the back for it, and also down on the floor. Okay, so here's the first wood stove that I had. I'm just gonna show you this. Just videotape it a little bit so you can see the details. I had a local guy that I found on Craigslist. He had this thing listed for sale on Craigslist. And um, I just thought it was the greatest little thing. So um, I'm sure you could probably find them online somewhere from somebody else, but this one's great. So that's kind of what the outside looks like. Open it up. It's pretty simple. It's just got a grate in there. But what I like about what he did, uh, you can't see it, but there's up inside there is like they do on the um, the official wood stoves <laughs> that you have in your house. It's got like a secondary chamber. So he's got a little, like from maybe about here back and maybe right about here 
is a piece of metal going all the way across another piece of steel right here so the flame goes up and then it has to go around like this to come in to go up the chimney so it gets a little bit more heat out of this than if it was there was if that wasn't there all the heat would go straight up the chimney so um and it works really well yep you set uh, you wrap your breakfast sandwich in uh uh tin foil and you set it on there and you have a nice warm sandwich or you set your coffee on there or whatever you want it warms things up real nice and it warms up in here really really well but that's kind of the details of it And then this flaps up and down. And just a simple hinge. It's probably, I think it's about eight inches that way, eight inches that way, and eight, that's probably eight inches all around, eight or nine inches all around. And uh, it does fine. Here's like a, uh, a piece of wood that you use. It's pretty, you know, I cut them up about four or five inches long, split them up a little bit, and just chuck those in there. It's kind of fun. Here's the second style of wood stove that I have. This one is the same guy made this for me, but it's a physically a little bit bigger. You can see how tall it is. It's um, <laughs> way taller. I would guess it's probably 14 or 15 inches tall. And it just created a larger chamber in here for the wood. And then again, that secondary chamber that he's got inside right around here to force the air to go around it and then up the chimney to let a little more heat out of it first. So kind of the same thing on this one. I use the two inch pipe here. Um, again, it's, it's not double wall or anything. It's just simple, simple pipe. Um, on the floor, I put in a piece of steel because stuff's gonna fall out and embers are gonna fall out. Even though he's got a little ledge right here, you see when you close the door, there's a little, a little ledge there. That's not enough. I've still had stuff fall down here. Be safe. <laughs> And then this one, actually, instead of the um, steel back here, I just found some stuff, again, at, at uh, Home Depot. It's like cardboard with a steel or with a silver lining on it that's made to reflect heat. I think maybe for uh, behind walls and stuff like that. So I put that there, and that stuff works great. I mean, this thing will be cooking away, and I stick my hand here, and it's super hot, and right back here, it's, it's nothing. There's no heat there. So, um, yeah, so this is it. And then... So this is two inches, two inch pipe, and it fits right over the collar. That right there, you can see that weld, it's probably about up to here. So inside's there, and then this fits right over the top of it. You gotta cut this to length. And all I do is, you know, it's a deer blind. So I just, I just took a two inch hole saw, cut a hole through it. This is a, um, a fiberglass blind from Redneck. And then uh, I got some of this cord here. If you go to Home Depot where the wood stove section is, this is like the cord that you use to replace the uh, cord around a wood stove door when it wears out. So I just put that around there with some high temp caulk and caulked it all in there. It's good enough. You can see it shrunk and you still see air through there, but it's good enough for a deer blind. And then on the outside right here, you know, maybe you can see it a little bit better there. But again, that two inch pipe just goes out. And then it goes up. They say the higher up you, you put them, the more draw it will have, meaning it'll suck more air from down low um, and make the fire go better. So, I mean, if you want, if you've got room, you can see I got a tree up there, so I stop. But if you have room, you can just keep going up and up and up, and it'll be better and better and better. You just have to support it, though. Remember that. So you see here, I just had a piece of uh, U channel sitting around the house. So I just put that into the ground down here uh, a couple inches and just whoop, put it right up and and wired it on right there and so it's, it gives it enough support that uh, you know it's been a couple years like this now so that's kind of the wood stove setup